Henry the Hot Dog here. It's been a busy day at the Underwater Math Carnival, but it's not been all fun and games for me. I've been working to interpret multiplicative comparison equations for most of the day. A multiplicative comparison is when two quantities are compared by showing that one quantity is a specified number of times larger than the other. Here's an example. I have the equation 48 equals 6 times 8. I can interpret this equation to mean 48 is 6 times greater than 8. That means if I have 8, and someone else has 6 times that amount, that would equal 48. Let me give you another example. This is Javier. He rode the Ferris wheel at the underwater math carnival five times today. This is Natalia. She rode the Ferris wheel four times as much as Javier. The equation four times five represents the amount of times she rode. This equation means four times as many as five is 20. Natalia rode the Ferris wheel 20 times today. I bet she is flying high. Here's a fun one. This is sudden. Sudden ate eight corn dogs at the carnival. If you think that is a lot, the amount hobby air ate is represented as three times eight. That means he ate three times as many as eight corn dogs for a total of 24. That's enough corn dogs for an entire lifetime. One more. This is fun. Natalia played six games at the carnival. The amount of games Sutton played is represented with the equation 5 times 6. This equation means that Sutton played 5 times as many as 6 games, which is 30 games. I hope you want lots of those gigantic stuffed animals. Just to review, the equation 4 times 5 equals 20. Means 4 times as many as 5 is 20. The equation 3 times 8 equals 24 means that 3 times as many as 8 is 24. And the equation 5 times 6 equals 30 means 5 times as many as 6 is 30. I'm doggone tired after all of that. Thanks for using multiplicative comparisons with me today.